And as much as I notice that the divine masculine energy has really been, I think, kind of in its infancy with most divine masculines, like the collective in general is really struggling um, to just stand in that gap that where we're missing the divine masculine energy, the divine part of it, right? Um, I admit that there is an energy from some divine masculines that it is just so powerful. It is so strong. It is solid. And I don't want to ignore that group of divine masculines who I think is going to surprise us because it's a, probably a smaller portion. Um, but what's funny is I think that some of those DMs that are going to surprise us, it's it's the DMs that we think are the most stubborn and the ones that really aren't trying at all. So I did want to take some time, just a moment here, and get a message from the divine masculines who are willing. Because it's not always going to be the divine masculines we think. Sometimes it's going to be the divine masculine that seemed like they were going to take forever, never make any changes, just be kind of ridiculous in their denial and in their running that suddenly just says, you know what, I'm done. And they become this person and, and it's like shocking. It's not that crazy to think of it. It's just hard sometimes when we've been doing it for so long, right, with certain divine masculines where it's like, sure, I'll believe it when I see it. Honey, you better believe it. If you felt called to this message, this could be your DM. And maybe, maybe fine. Maybe it's not right away. But this could be representative of what happens to them when that flip finally switches. So I already blessed and shuffled. I don't know if I said that. But let's go ahead and dive into this message and see what the divine masculines who are softening and, and willing to be vulnerable with us. What do they want us to know right now? All right. Overall message. Oh, you excite me in ways I never knew existed. I am reaching a foundational level of pure pleasure, bliss. And I'm starting to understand why you believed that us being together was like some kind of cure. Because it is. And I want to tell you everything. I'm finally ready to be honest with you. I no longer want you to be the only one in this picture. I want to be in a balanced dynamic with you. And I'm really excited. Because you amaze me. And the idea of having that feeling of pleasure that goes beyond what I thought pleasure was... I thought pleasure was more a physical, tangible, you know, something that I sought out to gain satisfaction, but the satisfaction wasn't, it wasn't like this. It was, it was not lasting. It didn't linger and make me feel safe and secure. And that's why I was so afraid to be vulnerable. And the very thought of doing that for anyone with anyone was just wrong, but it's different now. <laughs> everything is different now I want to be with you I want to see what could be created from our love I no longer look at the idea of us coming together as something scary and oppressive that's how I saw all the people in my life that's, that's really what many of them have been in my life is oppressors the idea of letting myself be vulnerable with someone who was only going to take advantage of me was absolutely terrifying. And I'm so sorry that I put that on you. I understand now that that is illogical. It made sense, so much sense in the moment. But now in this moment, I realize that there is a lot I have to reframe. I have to take some time to look over everything and release the old ways of thinking. And I'm feeling like you are my other half. Like there is some cord that ties us and binds us and that no matter what I do, there's a reason you've always been in my long-term plans. There's a reason I always knew that we would end up together. 
but I spend so much time avoiding my feelings and avoiding thoughts of my future that I didn't really process what this could mean. And I am just completely in awe. I'm so overwhelmed. And I love how you can always make me laugh. I love that when I sat back and reflected on it, I didn't feel scared. I, I felt excited. The first thing I realized is that I get to have that joyful feeling that I thought I could only get with you in certain moments for the rest of my life. That's, that's beyond me. I never really could plan in the long run for things to be good because that would mean that a lot would have to change. And for so long, everything in my life was just the same. And then you came along and it was almost like a wrecking ball or like, like a bomb went off. It was so just overwhelming to me. Like, whoa, 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 stop. Hold your horses. Wait a minute. I don't even know if I'm ready for all this yet. And it was like a whirlwind and I didn't have time to think and I didn't have time. And I, I guess I just needed time because as I sit with this now, I I can't really understand why I needed the time, but that must be it, right? I needed to see that everything was okay and that I was safe and that you were safe. And I'm really trying to get into alignment. I see that things are coming together now and I don't want to be the reason that it doesn't. I want to make sure that I'm making an effort towards the things that I actually want to see. That's new for me. I, I, the reason I was never happy, even when I was doing things that I thought would make me happy or I told myself would make me happy or people told me should make me happy is because I was always looking at those things as fleeting and it kind of upset me to even feel happiness for a moment. And so I went out of my way sometimes to I guess, try to regain some semblance of control, not knowing that it was safe. It was okay for me to just go with that flow. I'm tired of being without you. I secluded myself. I built wall after wall after wall, and I don't want it to be like that anymore. I'm moving on from that way of being and that way of thinking and that way of feeling towards you. And I need you to know that this is really confusing for me. Why? Because I'm sure this was all meant to be. I'm sure that we were fated to be together. But what I can't figure out is if that was the case, then why aren't we together now? It was probably all me, right? But if it was all me, then what do I need to do to get this back? That's what I've been trying to figure out. That's what this whole path I've been on has been about. Trying to find my way back home and not really being sure if I'll be welcome. But I have to believe that this is all for a reason, right? I can't help but be excited even though I'm afraid. I can't help but want to keep going even though I'm not sure what's on the other side. And honestly, all that is just so new to me. And I think that if I had you here with me, it probably would be easier to figure out. And some days I get a little hurt by that, that I have to figure this out on my own. But what's so amazing is I think it's okay. I 
think it's okay for me to do this on my own. I think, I think I can do it. I'm starting to see the light and realize that I'm more powerful than I always thought. And if it's up to me, then I'll do it. Because you're more than worth it. You are everything I've ever needed and more. I want to turn these dreams into a reality. I want to feel how I feel when I wake up from the sweetest dream of you. And I want to know that you're right there next to me. I want to wake up next to you in the morning and hold you. I just want to feel at home with you. We'll figure everything else out, right? <laughs>